Whether it's water or your gaming experience, filtering can enhance it and make it better. We're gonna be talking about bilinear, trilinear, and anisotropic filtering options for improving texture appearance in games as fast as possible. Many surfaces in games are covered in what are called textures. This is what avoids that effect where you just have like a flat surface with a bunch of red squares on it being called a brick wall. This is what makes them actually look realistic. But the problem with textures is that if you don't apply any kind of filtering to them whatsoever, you'll usually end up in a situation where what's up close to the player character or the camera looks great and what's a little ways off looks absolutely terrible and a sharply defined line between great and terrible. Bilinear and trilinear filtering aim to reduce the visibility of that line so when you're walking down a gravel path or next to a brick wall with a repeating pattern it's not noticeable that oh hey I'm in a game because I can tell right there it looks bad and right there it looks good. Anisotropic filtering is more advanced than bilinear and trilinear and seeks to reduce jaggies within the textures themselves or aliasing and make them appear much higher quality, especially when viewed at extreme angles. So in this example, on the left, it looks terrible past the immediate vicinity of the plane that is presumably coming down on the runway, whereas on the right, with an isotropic filtering enabled, it looks great even further on into the distance, or at least much better. Compared to other visual quality improvement techniques, texture filtering is relatively non-demanding on your gaming hardware, and many games these days even come with it enabled by default. So remember guys, Enable texture filtering on your games for the best possible experience. Share this tech quickie, like the video, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.